Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file right here and asked me how to clean it up. And first of all, there's four parts on it. And so that's one reason I'm going to make the video. I'm going to show you how you can cut your work in about, about 25%. And after I make the video, I'm going to share this file on my Facebook page, Corel Draw File Share. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I guess I'll call it. I don't know what I'll call it. Uh, frilly. Squiggle or something. Anyway, and here's how I would do it. It's all grouped together. Well, I've already ungrouped it. So there's four parts and they're all identical. This right part is 5.31 inches wide. So I'm going to set my nudge factor for six. And then I'm going to take this part and I'm going to go to arrange group and I'm going to ungroup all. Now I'm going to be able to weld it. But it didn't weld it perfectly. There are some spots, as you can see, some double over, double lapping lines. So then what you need to do, you need to go to arrange break curve apart. Then you can take out these little parts. And on this one, you'll have to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Delete that line. Delete that line. Delete. You just have to go through and delete some lines. Now the outside doesn't matter because we're going to use a smart fill tool. So you really only need to do the inside lines. And you'll just have to kind of go through and you'll miss some. And um, and when we use the Smart Fill tool, I'll show you. But this is really messed up. So we're going to go delete this line, this line. And keep in mind, the outside shape does not matter. Because we're going to use the Smart Fill tool. And it's going to do the inside shape. And you don't have to do them all. After you Smart Fill it, you'll see some more mistakes probably. Uh, when you look at it closer. And it is kind of neat. I've straightened up the circles a little bit. Uh, it's got some pieces that are really messed up, but the virtual segment delete key, and this is going to cause you a problem, but that can be fixed. And we're going to just go through here and do a few more, and then we're going to start smart filling it. See, like that, gonna, that's going to look funny after we smart fill it. It might even leak right there. So remember, it's always probably a good idea to use a rectangle around your object. I actually think I might have them all. There's one more right here. There's like a double line there. And everything can be cleaned up afterwards. So let's say I have them all. I'm going to take my Smart Field tool. I'm going to set on black and I'm going to have no outline. And the hardest part on this is just making sure you have every piece. I see a few more parts in here. Let's zoom in on these leaves. Virtual segment delete key. You can use the virtual segment delete key or you can use the pick tool if you because you've got the curve reduced on these little pieces or curves broken apart. So I think I've got it all and we're rated a smart feel. I'm going to zoom in like this way, take my smart fill, and I would start from the left, right, the left, and move, nudge it right. That way you won't miss anything. So we're going to go and just kind of go across the top. Now, one thing I did not do, and I should have, is draw a rectangle. And I'm just, um, I'm a renegade. Uh, taking a chance, but I've already started this. So I'm just kind of going around and I see one more one I did not do. You can always zoom in here. No, that looks good. Smart fill tool. And you just kind of back up, see what you've missed. We've, we're missing this right here. And we're missing this right here. And we're missing this right here. And it looks pretty good except for that right there. 
that might leak. So let's try it. Yep, took too much away. Let's just try to smart fill it and see what happens. That looks pretty good. Anyway, after you have it all, which I think I do, I don't see anything I've missed, then you're going to go zoom in and just kind of look at them. And like right here, there's a bad spot. Take your shape tool and just click on it and just remove. I nudged it. Just delete that node. Delete that node. Then maybe make it more symmetrical. There's a funny spot right there. Take your shape tool. Just delete that. Delete that. Change it up a little bit. They're already set on cusp, so they're, there's a double node we don't really need. And there should be a few more mistakes, like right in here. And I would go through there, and of course, you're going to have this file, so you don't need to do that, because I'm pretty sure I've done them all. But if you just delete some nodes, it'll come out pretty good. Here's one more bad spot. Not really bad, but you wouldn't, you don't need that. Grab the shape tool and just delete that node and delete that node and then take this node and elongate it, kind of make it look more rounded if there's such a thing. You know, mine, I made these a little bit differently. So we've got that done. And let's group this together. Control G. And let's just move him over. And then what I did, I control D, still holding down the control button. Grab them both, control D. And then you can do anything you want with it. You can leave it like that, or you can change your nudge distance to one inch and grab this bottom section and make it look more like the original. Anyway, so I'm going to erase all this because I think this is a better copy. I've really gone through it pretty good. Um, no guarantees. You might want to double check, look at it. That right there could be fixed a little bit. But remember, you'd have to do it to all four of them. So you could do one of them and just start over. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.